Hold on, man. It's some sideways shit going on here. Now, see, we could Asalaam Alaikum with y'all. Shalom and all that with y'all. Salat and all of this shit with y'all. But I have never heard now one of y'all say, Hotel, Uncle Jocinelle. I never heard none of y'all say none of that. I'm talking about the black Islam. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Moors, black Indians, all these uh, type thinking. I never heard none of y'all say that, fam. Facts. So it's some sideways shit going on here. I'm not going to. See, I used to be like the rest of, uh, you know, my brothers and sisters try to have some camaraderie with y'all. You see what I'm saying? But I never heard the same respect that we get of y'all reciprocated. I never hear that same respect. You see what I'm saying? See, y'all look at that. It's paganism and heathenism and all that. That's why I can't do it. So I can't, I ain't going to beg y'all to be down. You know what I'm saying? Be cool with y'all. Especially I read y'all books and y'all books talking shit about, you know, uh, like um, some of the Islamic books be talking about uh, the dreadlocks and shit is pagan and all this shit. And I'm looking and got locks. What the fuck? Get to get out of here with that. You see what I'm saying? So, I ain't, you know, they always like, and y'all need to get out of that. My brothers and sisters, again, stop calling these niggas your brothers and sisters. Don't matter if it's true or not. At this point in time, man, we got two different objectives. They fighting for America, man. And I heard one of them just a little bit ago say, came on my page and gonna say, uh, can't wait till we get our country back, our land back. Talk about America. You see what I'm saying? Know what kind of stupid shit you want? You see what I'm saying? See, y'all niggas is the one putting y'all self on. I don't, I don't think I care what y'all do. <laughs> I'm just looking at the shit and sitting back and watching it like a video game, nigga. Like the Super Bowl or something and watch y'all niggas do dumb shit. But when we show y'all love, I never see the same love reciprocated. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't going to sit up here and I see all the holes and all the religions and shit and not tell you what it is. That's why y'all niggas don't know that because you don't deal with Africa. And so if I come on and start running off at the mouth, y'all think I'm blasphemous and all that. Blaspheming and all this crazy shit. Y'all be saying, oh, he blaspheming, man. He slandering and all. I'm not slandering you. All y'all do got the same philosophy, nigga. It don't matter what the name is. I understand what y'all are saying. It's the same thing. You saying the same thing. Y'all just got. And then Noble Jew Ali, 1928 and all that. Y'all still coming with a philosophy. Coming to the future from 1920. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all still doing, you know, what they done way back then, trying to apply it to the new way we is today. Man, we in a whole nother situation today. It is a, a, a identity crisis. You understand what I'm saying? It's an identity crisis out here for y'all because y'all don't know who the hell y'all is. And since y'all Americans, Farrakhan be talking about, uh, uh, basically talking about he gonna fight for America and then he was saying that we need our own country in Africa. Hell no. Nah, we gonna live amongst our brothers and sisters in the countries that we got today. You see what I'm saying? There need to be one Africa anyway and throw all them damn names away because then that, that's that man name. That shit come from colonialism and the uh, scrambling for Africa and all of that shit. Got the white boy standing on top of Africa with his hands up. And y'all stupid motherfuckers got the nerve talking about, oh, no, nah, we fighting for America. And you wonder why the brothers and sisters around the world don't respect your stupid ass. 
they seeing all this ADOS shit. When I, the first time I seen ADOS, I was peeping some shit in Africa. And they was like, hold on, what the fuck? They over there protesting what the fuck y'all doing way over there. Stupid ass niggas like, hold on, they trying to, uh, the niggas wailing, but Brazil seeing it, Belize, and all over the world, people seeing y'all talk about, nah, we ain't Africans, we the black Indians, and this, that, and the third. Facts. I know what y'all trying to say. Okay, the Indians had dark skin. Okay. Okay. And that's real. They did. Okay. Cool. Because when you look at the little Mexicans and the little Indians that you see today, them is them dolls roll five dollar Indian motherfucker. I understand what y'all are saying. And I showed y'all the Indians. Did I? I don't know if I was on YouTube or Facebook. I don't know. I was on one of these. It might have been uh, uh, Facebook. But I'll show y'all the Indians in my family. They they more my complexion. You see what I'm saying? They look more Chinese. You see what I'm saying? They look Asian. They don't look like these people today. These people today look like white people, man. And the stupid bourgeoisie Negroes keep saying brown and black, brown and black. You ain't never seen no Mexican, Latinos, no nowhere ever came and had a conference and then the hack niggas come speak. But y'all always speaking up for them. But in this the country, y'all wanting to found y'all foundation. There ain't no resources over here. What you gonna do? The only way the white boy being able to have us to eat is that he gotta go around the world, steal everybody food, steal everybody oil, and turn it into gas for your stupid ass can drive to his job in the morning. Facts. And the more we talking about sovereign. How you sovereign? And your ass got to get up and go to work in the morning for another man. Okay? You see what I'm saying? The Israelites keep saying, uh, they, they Israel, nigga, take your ass to Israel. You, you can't go over there with that because they kicking niggas out right now. And if you go over there right now, y'all face all on the internet talking all that craziness about the Oscar and all that shit. And I feel but you ain't going to go over there today because they racist as hell over there, nigga. They racist as hell over there in Jerusalem and Israel and all that shit. The motherfuckers say they willing to die to stay in their land, nigga. So what you going to do? That's why y'all niggas fake and saying y'all Israel, but then y'all fighting for it to stay in America. The so-called y'all going to be the top in America. Y'all niggas is insane. Done lost y'all mind. For real. Done lost y'all mind. Stupid. Y'all gonna... You see what they done to everybody else. So y'all gonna... I don't care what you do. Because we ain't gonna be over here anyway. You see what I'm saying? We ain't gonna be over here anyway. And we gonna be watching y'all eating uh fufu and all this shit. <laughs> And we go, but y'all niggas is, is goofy because y'all trying to fight for a land that don't belong to you. Don't. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what if they never found them OMAC statues? What would you say then? You wouldn't even have that information. Y'all basing y'all shit on about, well, I mean, OMAC is 15. I know it was 12, but I think they found three more. So, and hold on. Ain't no Indians got no helmets on or no fucking Afros. Ain't no fucking Aboriginals got no helmets on. Show me an Aboriginal with a helmet on. And I just thought, show me an Aboriginal, because the old Max got helmets on like the Egyptians, like uh, like Norm and them and shit. Show me. A Aboriginal, Indigenous, a Black Indian, a fucking Moor that got a fucking helmet on. Okay. Okay. So what y'all don't want to do is obviously in y'all face. Y'all just don't want to be called African. And that's cool. And I'm good with that. Long as y'all good with that, I'm good with that. 
But what your future generations gonna do? Teach uh, the same shit y'all talk. <laughs> you're falling in you you're falling in population over here as it is. What you gonna do? And then you know the y'all. I ain't got no problem with whatever y'all do, whoever you get in the bed with, nigga. But all I'm saying is, him dipping in the chocolate gonna kill him. But you doing it, trying to justify that garbage that's in y'all book. See? See? Y'all trying to justify that. Them Elijah Muhammad, a lot of them, I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to, y'all be trying to justify a lot of what y'all do coming out them books. Now, how you going, you a man, see y'all looking for, always looking for outside inspiration. See, we don't got to do that. We can make moves for my own thoughts. Because y'all got a lie and all these, nigga. They control your thoughts. Look up what religion is. Look up what uh, uh, God is. Nigga, it's a super... Uh, 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 a super entity, a superpower controlling the mind of men. That's exactly what it say. Mass mind control. But that come from not doing no study. I'm, I might come back in a minute. Chop out.